Hi, and welcome to Mita Stories. The inventor of the first watch did not have access to the precise timekeeping technologies that we have today, such as atomic clocks or GPS satellites. Instead, early timekeepers relied on a variety of methods to determine the time, many of which were based on observations of the sun and stars. One of the earliest methods of timekeeping was the sundial, which uses the position of the sun in the sky to indicate the time of day. Sundials were commonly used in ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Greece, and Rome, and they remained in use throughout the Middle Ages. However, sundials are only accurate when the sun is visible, and they do not work at night or on cloudy days. Another method of timekeeping that was used in ancient times was the water clock, also known as a clepsydra. Water clocks use the flow of water through a container to measure the passage of time. They were commonly used in ancient Greece and Rome, as well as in China, India, and other parts of the world. However, water clocks are not very accurate, as the rate of flow can be affected by factors such as temperature and humidity. As timekeeping technology advanced, more precise methods of determining the time were developed. One important development was the invention of the pendulum clock by Dutch scientist Christian Huygens in the 17th century. Pendulum clocks use a swinging pendulum to regulate the movement of the clock's gears, resulting in much greater accuracy than earlier timekeeping devices. By the time Patek Philippe invented the first wristwatch in 1868, accurate timekeeping had become much more widespread. Many cities had established official timekeeping stations, often based on the movements of the stars or the transmission of time signals via telegraph or other means. These timekeeping stations would broadcast the time to the public, allowing people to set their clocks and watches to the correct time. In addition, many people carried pocket watches, which were often set to the correct time using public clocks or other timekeeping devices. In the centuries leading up to the invention of the first watch, timekeeping technology continued to evolve and become more precise. One important development was the invention of the mechanical clock in medieval Europe, which used a system of gears, weights, and a regulating mechanism to keep time. The first mechanical clocks appeared in the 14th century, and they quickly became an important part of public life, allowing people to coordinate their activities and schedules more effectively. As mechanical clocks became more commonplace, new methods of regulating and synchronizing time were developed. One of the most important of these was the invention of the pendulum clock by Christian Huygens in 1656. The swinging pendulum provided a much more accurate way to regulate the movement of the clock's gears, allowing for greater precision in timekeeping. Over time, pendulum clocks became smaller and more portable, and they were widely used in homes, businesses, and public spaces. In the 19th century, advances in communication technology made it possible to distribute accurate timekeeping information more widely. Telegraph lines were used to transmit time signals over long distances, allowing people to set their clocks and watches to a more precise standard. In addition, many cities established official timekeeping stations, often based on astronomical observations or other precise methods, which would broadcast the time to the public via bells, chimes, or other means. By the time Patek Philippe invented the first wristwatch in 1868, accurate timekeeping had become a well-established part of modern life. People relied on clocks and watches to coordinate their activities and schedules, and accurate timekeeping was essential for many fields, such as navigation, astronomy, and manufacturing. The invention of the wristwatch represented a significant step forward in timekeeping technology, as it allowed people to carry a portable timepiece with them wherever they went, and it paved the way for further innovations in the field of watchmaking. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring.